Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Fidelity, in short videos of a few minutes. Today we will discuss how to import a geometry file in Fidelity. To import a new geometry into the CAD tree, use the down arrow above the tree. The up arrow is to export the selected geometry from Fidelity. Fidelity supports a wide range of geometry file formats. You can import CAD files such as Parasolid, CATIA, IGS or STEP files, triangulated STL formats, meshes from the legacy Numeca softwares, and even CSV files to define 3D curves. You can select one or multiple files to import simultaneously. When importing a CAD file, the geometry is always triangulated. If you need to manipulate the geometry after importing it, use the default import mode to keep the original geometry definition. In this mode, the original CAD geometry definition will be kept after triangulating the CAD. Otherwise, select the import mode that loses the CAD definition. In that mode, Fidelity keeps only the tessellation after importing the CAD and the original CAD geometry definition will be removed from Fidelity. Specific modifications, such as Boolean operations, cannot be performed anymore. The advantage of this mode is that it provides better control on the quality of the tessellation. Additional options can be modified in the lower part of the import window. Let's talk about a couple of them. Activate the Unique Names option only if the uniqueness of surfaces and curve names is required. By default, the names of the surfaces and curves in the geometry files are preserved during the import. The 3D method for surface trimming is applicable to IGS files only. Activating it will use the 3D definition of the trimming curves to trim the geometrical surfaces. Otherwise, the UV parameter definition of the curves will be used. Create topological edges is activated by default and will create curve objects for materializing the geometry edges. Minimize CAD tree by assemblies lets Fidelity analyze the tree and remove unnecessary levels in the CAD definition, which can reduce the RAM and disk footprint needed. The next option merges adjacent surfaces within a common parent body using the user-defined tangency threshold angle, which by default is 40 degrees. This option can also reduce the RAM and disk footprint, but may not be appropriate for all file formats. On the right-hand side, the quality of the tessellation can be selected among the different options available in the triangulation level drop-down list. By default, a fine quality is selected. When user-defined is selected, additional parameters will be available. You can adjust the minimum and maximum triangle edge sizes to control for the triangle aspect ratio. The relative size expresses the maximum triangle size relative to the bounding box of each body. If the maximum size parameter is activated, it will prevail over the relative size parameter. The chordal and plane tolerances restrict the maximum distance from the actual geometry to the triangle edges and surfaces. Finally, the angular resolution imposes a maximum angle between the triangle and the actual geometry. Once you're ready to import the files, notice the antenna button next to the import file button. It allows you to use the parallel option so each core can import one geometry file. Therefore, you can define as many cores as the number of files to import. Finally, if you are a user of our legacy software Autogrid, you may be wondering if it is possible to import a GM Turbo or TRB files in Fidelity. It can definitely be done using the other tree on the left called the family tree, which is covered in more details in other videos. When importing a GeomTurbo or TRB files, all the geometry entities and mesh setups will be carried over to Fidelity and you will be ready to skip right to the meshing step and start the meshing. This is all you need to know to start importing files into Fidelity.
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.